Good morning. Chapter 6, Lesson 4 is on page 276. We're going to be factoring today using the box method. I'm going to be boxing pretty much everything in Chapter 6 with the form AX squared plus BX plus C. So let's write that down here so we can get working. AX squared plus BX plus C. And we're going to compare this to problem number 1. A turns out to be a 1, the coefficient. B turns out to be the coefficient 8. And C turns out to be a 15. We're going to put, remember, in our crisscross, in our cross, our multiplier, we're going to have the product A times C, which gives us the product of 15. And we're going to put the coefficient B, which is an 8, down in the bottom. So we are looking for, in our cross, two factors whose product is 15 yet whose sum is 8. So let's use a plus 3 and a plus 5. This just takes practice but this will help us get uh, fluency in factoring. 3 times 5 is 15 and positive 3 times a positive 5 is a positive 8. So this tells us that we're going <laughs> to have a coefficient of 3x and a coefficient of 5x. So let's look at our box now. And in the upper left corner of the box always goes AX squared. So we're going to stick in that X squared. In the lower right box always goes, <coughs> excuse me, the coefficient, which is the 15. And we're left with two coefficients that we're going to stick into the box. So we're going to stick in a 3X and a 5X. And these we picked up from our crisscross from our multiplying. So instead of in chapter 5 finding the sides and multiplying them to find the area, we're doing the opposite. We've got the area of the box and we have to find the two sides. So for number 1, it's not quite so bad. An area that would make up x squared would have to have one side is x and the other side is x. Well, if this side is x, then for this upper right area, we must have plus 3 as the other side. And if this side down in the lower left is x, then we have to have a plus 5 to make the left-hand side of that rectangle. And then finally, we have a check of plus 5 times plus 3. Again, this is a plus 5 as a side. This is a plus 3 as a side. And 3 times 5 gives me the area of 15. So our solution for number one now is staring us in the face. The factors are, let me highlight this, x plus 3 times x plus 5. So we can rewrite those as our final factors of x plus 3 times x plus 5. And those are the factors of the quadratic, quadratic expression x squared plus 8x plus 15. Let's try this for number 23, x squared plus x minus 42. Again, ax squared plus bx plus c. And I hope we see that a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1, and c is equal to negative 42. So remember, up top goes ac, and in the lower goes b. So we're looking for a negative 42 up top. And we're looking for a 1 down below. So the question we need to ask ourselves is we're looking for the product of two numbers whose, I'm sorry, the product of two numbers whose answer is negative 42 plus 7 and a minus 6. And yet their sum is a positive 1. So our factors look like 7x and minus 6x. Let's go into our box and we're going to add in the upper left the ax squared, which is x squared. In the lower right, we're going to put in the c, which is minus 42. We have a 7x and a 6x to place, so let's stick a 7x up here and a minus 6x up here, down below, sorry. So again, the areas must be x and x in the upper left. Remember, this area is, I'm sorry, this side is x. So upper right, upper right box, the top distance must be 7. We have this distance down below is x. So then this 
length must be a minus 6. And then we have uh, this length is minus 6, and this one is a plus 7. Our final check is 6 times 7. Negative would give us a negative 42. So again, we have the factors we got for x squared plus x minus 42. And the factors turn out to be x plus 7 and x minus 6. We can always FOIL these just to make sure we get the right answer. And if we do, we do indeed get x squared plus x minus 42. So the answer for number 23 is in the box. Thanks so much. We'll see you all tomorrow.